everyone, it's Monday today, Monday the 6th of April, is it the 6th today? I've got moisturiser and sun cream on because I'm going to head out into the garden again in a minute, so I'm very shiny. Um, I'm just having a tea break, <laughs> I got my sausage dog mug today, um, because I've actually had a really productive morning. It's half past 12 now, um, when I got up this morning I did all of my usual like self-indulgent, calming things like I wrote in my journal while I watched a bit of Netflix. I watched the last episode of Tiger King. Wow, that series is something. I can't believe all of that actually happened. Um, if you've watched Tiger King, let me know. We can talk about it. Um, but yes, I watched the last episode of Tiger King with a cup of tea in my journal, wrote, uh, wrote in my journal and then uh, did all of my little daily jobs on Animal Crossing, of course. Um, cooked myself a really big fried breakfast because that is just what I fancied this morning and again why not we're in quarantine got to treat yourself and um, then I got up and I got productive it's all just a mess but um, I've tidied up as best I can and I also gave this little man his daily brush not that you can tell because he looks like a yeti and I really don't know what we're gonna do if he can't go to a groomer for a long time because his hair is already so long he was already due a groom uh, before any of this happened can you see how red and puffy this eye is as well by the way it was really sore yesterday when i was outside i'm a bit worried i'm starting to get hay fever because i've got like a runny nose and itchy eyes every time i go outside the last thing i need is to develop hay fever isn't it but yeah, so I'm just sat with a cup of tea now, might read a bit of my book for 20 minutes or so and then I'm going to try and go out and finish painting the shed. Um, it was yesterday for me but it will have been last week for you guys. I started, started painting the shed um, in the garden, I'm doing like a beach hut kind of look on it. It looks a bit rubbish at the moment but hopefully I'll get it looking nice by the end of the day. Um, I really want to get that project ticked off because it's been something I've wanted to do since we lived in our old house so we're coming up to like four years now that I've wanted to get the garden shed painted so I really want to get that project done and dusted and I also need to upload the weekly vlog today. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know what else I'm going to do today. I really want to get on top of some wedding admin and um, like life admin in, in general like now is a really good time to go through all of my folders of bank statements and, and car information and stuff like that and like sort it all out so maybe I'll do some of that maybe I'll just do some scrapbooking or maybe I'll watch Netflix who knows I've still got some stuff on Disney plus that came out on Friday that I want to watch like the next Imagineering story and things so we'll see but anyway I hope you're having a happy Monday whatever you're doing and um, I'll catch up with you in a bit Oh, my mum just came and dropped some daffodils on the doorstep. I managed to um, stand on the doorstep and talk to her for a few minutes as well, which was nice. Obviously, we stood more than two metres apart and everything, but it was lovely to see her. Um, my YouTube video for today is over an hour long, and I really don't want to proof watch that right now. It's so sunny outside, and the sun is shining directly at the shed right now. So I'm going to go and finish that first coat of cream paint, let that dry, come back in and sort out my YouTube video while it's drying and then go out and do the second coat. I think that'll be okay. Right, so this big cloud's just come over and it's gotten really cold. It feels like it's gonna rain to be honest. I don't think it is though, I think it is moving on. But um, I finished the first coat of the cream, put a second coat of the cream around the top there and down the sides and I'm going to do the second coat on the rest of it later on this afternoon. Um, but now I'm gonna have some lunch and sort out my vlog for tonight. But yeah, it's looking okay, but up close it's really messy. I need to do lots of touch-ups. So I edited my vlog and then I fell asleep. <laughs> I only had like a power nap for like half an hour, but you know when you sleep during the day and you wake up and just feel really confused, that's how I feel. But I really wanted to get that second coat of cream paint on today. So it's now 10 past 5 and I need to go out and at least get a second coat of paint on the stripes on the doors. And then maybe like leave all of the touching up until tomorrow. So it'll be a three afternoon job instead of a one day job like I was hoping it was going to be. But that's fine. Um, but yeah, I really want to get that second coat on. So I'm going to go and do that now. <laughs> Oh, 
Archie's growling because our neighbour's cat, the one who got the fledgling yesterday, likes to sit up on the shed and taunt him. Hi Monty, how you doing? Anyway, I'm stopping for the day. As you can see, from the front you can see how messy it is where I've like painted over the hinges and made mistakes and stuff. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to see how it looks in the morning, see if it needs an extra coat. And then I've got these really tiny paint brushes and I'm going to paint like the correct colour over these bits. There's not a lot I can do about the hinges so I'm just going to leave them but yeah I can paint like the correct colour over the bits where I've, I've gone wrong or where I've been really messy and hopefully it will look cute and then I've got my bunting to go back up over there. Hopefully it will be nice. Okay, it's about 10 a.m. I'm back out at the shed, ready to try and fix all of these little mistakes I've made with the doors and cover up all the imperfections. There's a few bits around here that I think need touching up, but I don't think it needs another coat of the cream. I think I just need to fix all the mistakes. So that's what I'm gonna do. There we have it, my new shed. I'm actually really happy with how it's turned out and even though it's just taken me like two hours, more than two hours, to do all of those touch-ups and fix the mistakes, I think it's really like noticeably changed it. It's a bit dark around here to see this side but yeah I think it's made a massive difference and it looks so much neater in the front. It's never going to be perfect because this shed's not very good quality. It's part of the reason I wanted to paint it in the first place to make it look a bit better. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it looks good. There we go. I've put my bunting back on as well. I want to get some new bunting because this one doesn't go like properly in the, in the middle. It's not properly centered, which stuff like that really bothers me. <laughs> but um, yeah, my bunting's back on. I feel like it looks like an actual little beach hut. It's so cute. The dogs are just sunbathing. I'm back inside. I've got changed, washed the paint off, got tea in my Snow White mug. I've got a sandwich and crisps and I'm gonna relax for a minute. It's 20 past one now. So I was outside for like three hours doing the like touch ups on the shed and I'm really like genuinely really happy with it. I know I just said that, but genuinely really happy with it. Um, Winnie's outside sunbathing, Archie's just gone out to join her, so I'm just going to enjoy my lunch and um, then decide what I'm going to do next, because that's one project ticked off for lockdown. everyone I've got my dog mama sweatshirt on today and a sausage dog mug and sausage dog socks <laughs> so I'm wrapping that dog mama life today um I actually just put a little bit of concealer on because my skin is so bad I'm actually starting to be a bit embarrassed coming on camera with no makeup on but makeup is not even sitting nicely on my skin I the only thing that's changed is obviously my diet um, is not particularly great being stuck at home. I haven't been eating particularly well, so that might be affecting my skin, but it, it feels so dry, but then I'm covered in spots as well, so I, I just don't get it. But I, like I said last week, I do know that lots of people have been saying the same thing, so I wonder if it's like a combination of not getting enough fresh air or whatever, but the last couple of days I've been out in the garden like all day, so I don't know. Anyway, happy Wednesday. We've made it to halfway through another week of isolation. Uh, this is my fourth week of like total isolation outside of hospital, so I've done three and a half weeks now, um, and it's Easter this weekend, I just realised, so Will won't be working from home on Friday, he'll just be at home, and on Monday as well, so that will be nice, um, that literally just occurred to me that we can actually like 
go out into the garden together or go for um, a walk together maybe. I still haven't been on a walk yet. I'm still trying to psych myself up, but maybe I'll feel more confident if he can come with me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling already. Um, this morning I decided I was going to let myself have a fairly lazy morning. Um, I didn't film much yesterday because I have been so tired the last couple of days and I think it's because going out and painting the shed and like working on the garden is the first like physical thing that I've done since being poorly and my body is just not used to it obviously like it's still recovering but also I'm just generally unfit now like I haven't been to the gym since Christmas sort of time whereas I used to go like three times a week um, and obviously I'm, I'm just unfit now as well as also recovering from being ill so um, I've been so tired uh, this week so far which is why I haven't filmed as much as last week um, but hopefully I'll get back into the swing of things now over the next few days. Um, but yeah I, I said I would let myself have a lazy morning this morning um, but before I even came downstairs this morning I tidied and, and cleaned like the whole of our bedroom. Our bedroom's a disaster zone that's why I never film up there or show it to you. It's um, still unfinished but I still had like stuff from when I was in hospital laying around like my mum brought me up a suitcase of clean um, pyjamas and everything. A like the day or two before I was discharged so I still had a suitcase full of clean pajamas and socks and underwear and everything sat at the end of our bed like after three weeks out of hospital so I finally emptied that put everything away tidied everything the bedroom looks so much better now uh, so I did that and then I was like right I need to have like a calm morning so I came downstairs did my journaling played a bit of Animal Crossing which I'm really trying to limit because I was spending like four hours a day on Animal Crossing. So now I'm playing for like an hour in the morning and then if I get stuff done the rest of the day, then I might play it again in the afternoon. But I'm really trying to sort of limit how much time I play on it. Um, and then I've just been reading. So yesterday I finished um, A Whole New World, which was the Aladdin like Twisted Tales book. I ended up rating it two out of five stars because it just wasn't very good. Um, the writing was really childish but some of the topics were really dark so I don't really know like who it was meant to be aimed at because they were talking about like really dark topics like I say but in a really childish way and it just didn't seem I don't know it didn't seem like the book was appropriate for kids but it also felt too childish for me like I'll happily read like middle grade and children's books if the story's good um but I don't know I it just left me feeling kind of disappointed so that was a shame um, and then I read a load more of The Raven King by Maggie Stevata. Um, I'm coming up to about two thirds of the way through now and things have finally got, you know, a little bit more interesting. Um, and I really want to try and finish that book today because then that whole series will be finished and it's taken me so long to read that series that it would be brilliant if I can get it done um, and tick off another lockdown project <laughs> finishing a series of books um and then the next book I want to read sorry if I'm not interested in books by the way but people always ask me to talk more about books um the next one I want to start is the nowhere girls um by Amy Reed so yeah that's the plan for the rest of the morning it's quarter to 11 now so I'm gonna read until probably about lunchtime have some lunch and then maybe try and do something later I know I'm not really being particularly interesting in this week's <laughs> vlog last week I had a lot more stuff to show you and I was doing a lot of scrapbooking and things this week I'm like mainly reading rather than scrapbooking but hopefully the rest of this week like I say I'll have some more stuff to show you but for now I'm just enjoying being chilled
so I finally finished The Raven Cycle today. Book four, The Raven King, means I've finally finished The Raven Cycle. Um, I was outside reading for a while and then I came in here and carried on reading because I got too warm <laughs> in the sun, I was worried I was going to burn. Um, and I just carried on reading it because I wanted it finished, but I have to say the second half of this book kind of made the slow first half worth it and the ending I think whilst maybe some things are a little convenient I think the ending was great I especially loved the epilogue I got a little bit teary and it's been a while since a book made me feel like emotional so I really enjoyed it I think I'm gonna give it four stars just because I loved the second half so much and I'm so glad to have finished another series of books on my shelf so I am already keen to get stuck into The Nowhere Girls by Amy Reid but I think I need a little break from reading for a couple of hours because I have read a lot over the last couple of days um, and my eyes are probably going to start to struggle so I'm going to stop and get some food I think um, but oh my gosh really enjoyed that really enjoyed it it is a beautiful day already gorgeous morning all me again with yesterday's french braids and a face covered in spots i really don't know what to do about it just letting my skin breathe as much as possible it's thursday today i've only been up for about half an hour but i've already had a super productive morning um got up made the bed washed my face tidied things a little bit came downstairs sorted out all the animals it's already so lovely and sunny and like pleasant outside it's going to be a really nice day today um with decent temperatures apparently so did that and obviously like fed and watered all the animals put the first washing load on of the day which is why you might be able to hear the washing machine going in the background and I'm just sitting with a cup of tea now deciding what I want to have for breakfast um, but yeah I've already done a few bits today and that makes me feel great um, I put this on because I thought it was going to be cold outside I've got other pyjamas on underneath but it's too warm I'm going to take this off yesterday evening whilst Will was doing the barbecue we had a lovely little barbecue for two um, by the way it was really nice um, whilst Will was doing the barbecue I started reading Nowhere Girls I'm 36 pages in and I can already tell that I'm gonna like it I think the characters are really diverse different races and um, there's an autistic character um, there is um, LGBTQ plus representation already um, so I think I'm really gonna like it uh, but we'll see I'm only 36 pages in um, but if I can finish reading that this week that will be three books I've read this week which is a lot more than I've read in a long time so that will be great um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to drink my tea and then get on with one of my big tasks, which is doing all of that wedding admin that I mentioned at the beginning of the week that I still have not done. Okay, it's now 20 to 1 and I'm having a lunch break. I've got vegetarian scotch eggs, a cheese and coleslaw baguette and uh, cheese Doritos. This is like my favourite lunch at the moment. Yes, it's a massive lunch. No, I don't care. I haven't had any breakfast this morning, so I'm having a big lunch. Um... I've been doing so much wedding admin this morning. I've got my wedding planner here. All of my like documents are in a file there, but it's got some uh, personal details in, so I won't show you. Got my laptop because I've been printing off emails and invoices and stuff. I'm feeling a lot more on top of things. It's it's okay. Just put the second load of washing on of the day, so sorry if you can hear that. But yeah, the wedding is still four months away. I was just talking to Will about it. It's a third of a year away, and normally we would be saying, "Oh, that's such a long time away." Um, it's just with this current situation that feels like not enough time um but if we get only a couple of weeks notice that the wedding can go ahead as normal or as close to normal as possible 
that's not going to be enough time to get done all of the things that I still need to get done so I need to plan for it now as if it's still happening um, and it will be a lot easier to postpone it if it is all organised as normal so that is what I'm focusing on today and I'm enjoying doing it it's making me feel more organised and a bit more positive uh, but yeah I'm going to have a lunch break now I've been so productive today I'm pleased with myself <laughs> Good morning everyone, sorry for the rubbish light, um, but I have started my morning by filming a flip through of my Project Life album because I've finished it, well, apart from the title page, which I still haven't done, um, but it was a bit of a disaster because I tried to film it in here and as you can see the lighting is just not good, um, so I had to go and film it again. Um, but I've brought the album back in here to put away and I thought I would just quickly show you a few of the pages because I did them late last night. And, um, yeah, I showed you a lot of my progress last week, I think, some of the pages that I was doing. So I thought I'd just quickly show you the ones I did last night. And then um, if you want to see the full flip through of the whole album with all of my chat over the top, um, I'll leave the link in the description because all being well, that should go up tonight. So it will go up before this vlog. Um, but I started yesterday with October. Um not my wedding dress I know I say it every time but I know there'll be somebody who thinks it's my wedding dress it's not it's just one that I tried on um this page was about trying to be positive because my first experience trying on wedding dresses was not good some of my bridesmaids in their dresses when they tried them on just everyday life photos then we have just more life photos our save the dates I journaled about highlights of October and some pumpkin patch photos yeah, another project ticked off. Hello everyone. I know my face looks really red and blotchy. I have just done all of my skincare routine. I also took out my French braids that I'd had in for like three days. Hence the uh, crazy curls. Um, anyway, I've had a couple of really productive days. So I feel like I want to have a bit more of a chilled day today. And obviously Will's isn't working because it's the Easter weekend. It's Good Friday today. So... He doesn't have to work today we have a nice long weekend together obviously we can't go anywhere but it'd be nice to just I don't know spend some time together so I feel like I want to be more relaxed but I'm also kind of bored already hence already filming a YouTube video this morning um, I want that to go up today so I need to edit that and get it sorted but other than that I don't have any plans for the day I sorted out loads of wedding stuff yesterday and my cousin sorted out makeup artists for me, which is really kind. So I also need to sort out paying the deposit for that this morning. And then that's done. So great. Are you okay? <laughs> We've both been doing stuff this morning. Will's upstairs sorting out his office and all sorts and moving furniture. And I've been filming my videos. So I think Archie's been a bit like neglected this morning. Look at him. Have you been feeling neglected? You have? Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> everyone happy Saturday I'm really starting to struggle to remember what day it is um, but I thought I'd do my normal morning hello with my tea I've got an Emma Bridgewater mug today instead of a Disney one which is shocker so yesterday ended up being another one of those days that was a nice mix between like productive and relaxing and I'm hoping to have another one today. I have a to-do list of things that I really want to get done I've already started doing some of them. I've put all of our clean washing away that I did the other day that's properly dry finally um, and I have got a load of the dog's bedding in the wash currently I'm gonna wash all of their bedding today so that it can be all nice and air dried out in the sunshine I'm dressed for the Sun today I've got my vest top on and um, I've got shorts on from Florida 
<laughs> um, so I'm dressed as if I'm back in Florida today because it was so lovely and warm yesterday. I don't want to get burned, so um, I'll put factor 50 on again if I go outside. But um, it just was really nice to spend time out in the garden yesterday. And tomorrow and Monday, it's apparently going to rain. And then after that, the sunshine is meant to come back, but it's not going to be anywhere near as warm as this. So I'm um, going to try and make the most of it today, I think whilst also trying to get stuff done. And because I finished my 2019 Project Life album, which I uploaded the flip through yesterday, I'll leave the link in the description if you haven't seen it yet. Um, because I finished that yesterday, today I also wanna share with you the next craft projects that I want to take on. Um, I'm really trying to use this time to finish up those scrapbook albums that I've left for years. So um, I will show you that later as well. So I got sucked into a different activity. Um, I actually wasn't going to focus on my travel album next and I'm still not going to. I think I'm going to work on a different one, which I'll show you in a minute. But um, this travel album has holidays from 2016 all the way up to 2019. And um, I have not finished it. Even these holidays from 2016 are not finished. Um, and there's a few spaces, for example, this one, the picture of Will with our trusty rental car in Iceland, um, that I wanted to make a layout for it, but I really don't like making 12 by 12 layouts. And I already have a few that I'm gonna have to make because the photos just won't work as a 12 by 12. Um, but I'm gonna try and fill some gaps with just large photos. Um, so I just went on to my normal, um, website that I use. This is not sponsored or an ad or anything. I just, I always use this website and people always ask me where I get my large photos from. It's DS Color Labs. Um, and I found out that actually uh, they are in fact open again. So I can place an order online um, to get my photos ordered for my scrapbooks. So that's really useful for me. So I'm going to do that now. And I've also got my Disney album over there, which I will show you. Um, and I'm going to order all of my Disney photos as well and possibly my 2020 photos so far so that I can get started on that Project Life album as well. So I'm excited. The one thing that I will say about this website is that it is pricey. You pay £5 for postage and normally it does come like the next day. Um, but obviously at the moment that won't be the case. Um, so you're going to be paying £5 postage for... I don't know when you're going to receive your photos, but they will make it to you. Um... And also, if you're ordering a lot of photos, it, and especially in different sizes, it does get pricey. Like, I'm not going to pretend that it doesn't, but I love the photo quality, and I love that I can get all of the sizes that I want in one place. And I also love that I can add a white border really easily to all of my photos, because I've found in other, um, with other websites, I can't add a white border, and I like that look on my photos. So, yeah, going to get ordering. Right, so I've sorted out some photos for that travel album and now I'm looking at my Disney album. So this is going to have like all of my Disney trips in it so far. <laughs> Look, you can see our terrible Tower of Terror photo through. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. Um, anyway, I printed off a bunch of photos for this project and I thought that I had printed off all of the photos I wanted for it. But it turns out... That I did not. There are actually loads of photos missing so I'm gonna have to go through and like rearrange how I've done everything at some point point. Um, and I've put all of the photos that I missed, <laughs> as you can see there are a lot of them, into um, a folder called travel album and I've got Paris trip number one so obviously um, the first trip I went on. Uh, for my second Paris trip there were also some photos that I missed and for my third Paris trip I haven't printed any photos yet. So I've got all of my favorite photos here. These are all the ones that I want to put into my Disney album for the trip that I went on with my mum. So that's all in this album here on my hard drive. Um, so I'm gonna put all of those photos onto my phone and like edit them if they need editing, collage them if they need collaging, and then I will upload them all to that website to be printed. Obviously, I love photos, I love taking photos, and I love putting my scrapbooks together, but this is the hardest and most boring part of it for me. Um, and it definitely takes the longest as well, like getting all the photos ready to actually go to the printers and stuff. Like, um, because I want three by four photos, I have to collage my photos and make sure that it's all the right size and everything before I can send them off, and it, it's a process. <laughs> 
And during that process, you also have to think about where you want them to go in the album. So obviously all of this is now gonna change because I'm adding in all these extra photos. But I have to think, okay, well, how many three by four slots do I have? Or how many will I need? Which of these photos do I want in three by four? Which do I want to print at a giant size? You know, which ones would be better in a collage? Like it's just a lot. And I like to, in my travel albums, I like to have lots of inserts and things like that, as you will see in that album um, and different size page protectors and things. So it does take quite a lot of thought to decide like what size I want to print everything at. Um, yeah. It's definitely a process. I think it's gonna take me quite a while today, but it's something that I really wanna get done so that I have all of these projects ready to go. Hours later and 241 items later, I've finally placed my order and it's all done. So I have no idea when it's actually gonna arrive, um, but I'm glad it's done and I can get all of those photos into my albums when they do arrive. Hello, I have actual makeup on my face today. <laughs> it's a miracle. I just fancied feeling a little bit nicer. Um, my hair is in a messy bun because that needs washing, but I put some makeup on, so feeling a bit better than normal. Um, lots of noises in the background. Will's getting ready to start lunch. We're gonna have a fry up um, and just make the most of having a sunny Easter Sunday together. Um, I'm about to go and give Winnie a bath and then I'll show you some Easter bits that were dropped off on our doorstep as well as some supplies for my next project which were also dropped off on the doorstep. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go and give Winnie a bath quickly because she stinks. The face of a very unhappy sausage who <laughs> was just sat. You just sat in all the bubbles. You got your drying coat, let's go. You're wet? Yep. Your turn next, Archie. But I did Winnie first. I'll have to give you a bath later. Right, we have had a lovely lunch. Um, Winnie's had her bath. She's all dry. She's running away because Will's going out into the garden. Um, and I thought I would show you our lovely doorstep deliveries from family. So I didn't think that we were going to get any Easter eggs this year. Will bought me an Easter egg when I came out of hospital, but I ate that a long time ago. Um, sorry, my neighbour's just gone outside, oh no. Just closed the window so he can't hear me, but he can still see me talking to myself. <laughs> um, yeah, Will got me an Easter egg when I came out of hospital, but that was long gone. Um, but yesterday, Will's mum dropped off two Easter eggs and this lovely rose plant inside this cute green watering can. So I'm going to sort that out. Um, and then this morning, my mum dropped off an Easter egg for Will and a chocolate bunny for me and another little lint chocolate bunny because she knows I love those. Um, obviously social distancing was in place with all of this. Stuff was dropped on the doorstep. You know, my mum stood like a good two and a half, three meters away from me when I was talking to her. It feels so unnatural to do that with your own mum, but obviously we all have to. Um, but yeah, I don't want people to think that we've been socialising, we have not, I have not left the house in weeks, I haven't even been on a daily form of exercise like we're allowed to, I literally have not left this house, so please don't think that um, we've been socialising and breaking the rules, we haven't, these things have been left on the doorstep for us. Um, and then my mum also dropped off some paint, so I've got two tins of this chalk furniture paint in duck egg. Um, because I can't remember if I said or not, but we decided what we wanted to do with the bedroom and what we want to do is paint the two chests of drawers that we already have in uh, this duck egg furniture paint and she also gave me the furniture wax 
to um, wax them afterwards so that they stay nice. Um, and that's going to be one of my next quarantine projects to paint both of the chests of drawers. And I think they're going to look so nice. Will's sister bought us a load of frames at Christmas to do a gallery wall. And I didn't know where in the house to put them. But if we paint these uh, chests of drawers in duck egg, some of the frames are duck egg as well. So it, it's going to look really nice, I think, once it's all done. So I'm super excited that my mum's dropped that off um, for me so I can get started with that. And I also had another cute delivery yesterday. This little notebook arrived that says hen party planning on it. And there's a really cute crystal pen with bridesmaid on it. Um, and it's from my future sister-in-law's um, maid of honour. So she sent this little note with it as well. And it's very cute, nice little surprise in the post. So that's all of the deliveries that I've had. I uh, wanted to take a cute photo of Winnie as the Easter Bunny, but the costume doesn't really fit. <laughs> we have a new Easter Bunny. He's a good boy. <laughs> Just tried to take some Easter photos of the dogs, that was funny. Um, but we're having a tidy up in here now. Uh, the living room was starting to look like a bit of a dumping ground, like for example, Will's weights are just down here. There's some tools just back there. There's just stuff everywhere. So I've put away as much stuff as I can and Will's done some as well. And now I'm gonna hoover down here because the dogs are obviously in and out constantly at the moment with the weather being so nice and they just bring in all sorts of stuff from the garden. So we're having to hoover all the time. Um, and then I will finally show you the craft project that I was going to show you yesterday, which is the next one I want to focus on. It's not a particularly interesting one, but it's like important to us. So I will show you that after I do this hoovering. Right, so this is the next project I'm working on. I'll flip through some of it for you. I'm not going to go all the way to the beginning because I know it has our old address on and stuff and we don't live in that town anymore, but it still seems weird. Um, so way back in 2015, I started a scrapbook all about renovating our first house and the idea was that I would just keep doing it and keep updating it until the house was finished. But it took three and a half years to finish the house and by that time I was pretty fed up with this scrapbook. Um, in fact, I actually have only done up to the end of June 2015 and when I say done I've like embellished it and put the cards in and stuff but I haven't actually done any of the journaling so I need to go back and like write about what we were doing at the time thankfully past Chloe was really sensible and put sticky notes with the dates on on all of the photos so I can go back and uh, stamp in the dates quite easily but um, what I did probably about a year ago, maybe even longer, was I went through and put all the cards in place that I want to use. So I've got like month cards, um, journaling cards, filler cards, all sorts. I went through and put them all in place. So at least I don't have to do that. Um, and there's a few layouts in here that I made, you know, over the years. But yeah, so what I want to do today is go through and like adhere all of these journal cards in place, adhere all the photos back to back and everything so that it's all neat and done. And then I can start dipping in and out of this whenever I want. This was our first Christmas in the house and then 2016 began. Um, yeah, all the photos are in, nearly all of the filler cards and everything are in. I just need to go through and actually like put the scrapbook together. Um, So it's a pretty big job because it, it spans several years and I've barely done any of it but this is the next one that I would really 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 like to finish whilst we are in lockdown so I'm gonna sit and stick all of these things in place now I think
Okay, so I'm all done. I have um, secured all of the cards and photos and stuff together. They're not in the like best place. Um, as of yet, some of them need to be trimmed down when I actually come to making the scrapbook. But step one of this process is done. There's cards in every slot. Everything's adhered together. And now I can start choosing some embellishments. But yeah. It's nice to look back on all of these photos. And what I did with the um, before and after photos here was I just chose one patterned paper and I just chopped it into the correct pieces <laughs> and I just used it behind all of them apart from this little card here that says celebrate and um, this is a Mrs Brimble's paper by the way and um, I'm just going to leave it on the back with all of those little sketchy dots I think they're cute so that is how the album is going to end and as I said I do actually have the new estate agents like thing in the back from when we eventually sold the house but obviously it's got our previous address on it and even though we don't live in the same town anymore it just seems a bit weird to show like our previous address and everything so yeah that is where we're at so far I don't really fancy doing any more of it right now I might do some more tomorrow but what I need to do is go through and try and find some of these old embellishments again so that I can um like try and make it look a bit co a bit more cohesive because I don't really I don't even know if I have any of these embellishments anymore which is going to be difficult because obviously you want the album to flow I'll see what I can do Hello everyone, um, it's now five past four on Sunday and I don't know if we'll be doing anything else today that is worth showing you. Uh, Will's just taken Archie on a walk but Winnie and I have stayed home. Winnie actually hates going on walks <laughs> so um, when Will uh, goes out he normally just takes Archie. <laughs> um, but yeah I just wanted to close off this vlog I hope you've had a lovely week and I hope you've had a lovely Easter um I know this vlog is a bit boring compared to last week's so I felt like I had more going on last week but hopefully next week I'll be able to show you painting the furniture now that I've got the paint and doing some more crafting and things like that and working on other projects around the house I'm still playing a lot of Animal Crossing <laughs> but I normally play sort of first thing in the morning before I want to vlog um but yeah, hopefully I'll have some more interesting stuff to show you next week. Um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you're all staying home. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.